दिमाग से बाहर जाता है हो नहीं पाता है तो ट्राई करते हो कि नहीं यू ऑलरेडी नो द आंसर इट्स वेरी बोरिंग सो मच लव फॉर मैथ्स India has a rich and diverse cultural heritage. It has contributed to the world concepts such as yoga, Ayurveda, spicy chicken tikka, and Vedic maths. Well, what is Vedic maths? Vedic maths is one of the simplest and easiest way to do maths. It's one of the world's fastest mental math system originating right here in India. That's what Vedic maths is. So what we're going to do? A little bit of maths. So I know you must be thinking, uh, normal maths to hota nahi hai, ye Vedic maths kaise hoga? But I'm sure, trust me, this is really going to be uh, worth your while. So we're going to do multiplication by 11, 32 times 11. So what we're going to do here? We're going to separate three, we're going to separate two, and just add three plus two. That gives you five. You stick it in between, and that gives you 352. And that's your answer. Let's do another sum together. Say 45 times 11. Let's all do this. I know you have had your lunch, so don't feel sleepy. So what's your answer? 45 times 11. 495 it is. What about 75? times 11. OK. People at the back, come on. Exactly. It's 8, 1, 2, 5. So 7 plus 5 gives you 12. And 1 gets carried over, added to 7. And it gives you 825. Easy, isn't it? This is the principle behind it. We do something called the base method right now. Base method is basically uh, multiplying numbers very close to the base of 10, 100, 1000, and so on. So say we got a number 99 times 97. So they are both close to 100. So tell me, is 99 more than 100 or less than 100? Less. By how much? So we write minus 0, 1. And 97, is it more than 100, less than 100? Less by how much? Minus 0, 3. So we subtract crosswise, and we do 99 minus 0, 3 like this, and 97 minus 0, 1. That gives you 96 as the first part of the answer. And 0, 3 times 0, 1 vertically, that gives us 0, 3. So our answer becomes 9, 6, 0, 3. Let's apply the same rule which we have learned to the next sum and see if we can do this together. Say we have 98 times 97. So 98 is more than 100, less than 100? Less. By how much? So we got minus 0, 2. And 97 is more than 100, less than 100? Less by 3. So we got minus 0, 3. And we cross subtract like this. And we get 97 minus 0, 2 gives us 95 as a first part and we multiply 0, 3 and 0, 2 vertically like this, and we get the answer of 0, 6. Now let's learn whatever we have learned here and take this knowledge to the next sum, which is this. Sounds big, looks big, daunting, very daunting. But through Vedic maths, this sum can be done in less than five seconds right now. So 996 is close to 1,000. And we have minus double zero four. And 997 gives us double zero three. So 997 minus double zero four, it gives us 993. And then we multiply vertically, which gives us zero, one, two. And this is the principle behind it as to why it works, where x is the base of 10 and 100, and a and b are the deficiencies or excesses from the base. So the question now becomes, why Vedic maths? Why does the world need something like Vedic maths which originated right here in India? Well, to me, it seems like the world is in a big catastrophe, big crisis of mathematics.
Let me ask you in the audience here, how many of us really, really love maths here? Wow, that's a great audience. But most of you, uh, I don't see a hand. So maths is becoming a big problem area right now, and especially in the world. Let's take, for example, in the UK, almost half of British adults have math skills of an 11-year-old or worse. That's 17 million adults in UK alone. Imagine that. That's in UK. South Africa, 46.3% is the maths pass rate in South Africa, which means that if 100 people go to national certificate examination, about 50% pass out. So, and then, when I was in South Africa, I asked a student, how would you do eight times seven? So the student did, he drew eight circles, again eight circles, again eight circles, all the way to 56 circles, counts, and tells me the wrong answer of 54. <laughs> so that's how bad maths is. And let's see the situation here in India. We are all proud of our ancient mathematical heritage, Aryabhattas, Bhaskaracharyas, Ramanujans. So India currently ranks 73 out of 74 countries in the study of math, science, and reading globally. So what's happening is we are forgetting all our maths right now. And uh, even though with the calculators, students are not able to do maths and hence the problem for concern. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my background. I graduated out of commerce in Calcutta, and I couldn't get into a business school because of some financial problems at home, and so I took something called a giant leap. I became a student, uh, and from a student, I became a teacher. All I could do after uh, passing out of college was teach this system called Vedic Maths, which I had learned back in my MBA uh, CAT examinations. I started teaching, and I thought there's a good prospect of Vedic maths, and, but there was no institution where you could learn Vedic mathematics. So I went to the gurus, like the Sankaracharya of Puri, Shakuntala Devi, and started learning the ropes of this method of Vedic maths, and started teaching. I wrote a book, authored a DVD, some websites, and tried to promote this globally. A Lot of challenges I faced in my journey. Firstly, people didn't know about Vedic maths in our own country of origin. Think about it. They did not know about Vedic maths. And then there was another problem, copyright. Somebody in the West copyrighted Vedic mathematics. So I couldn't teach Vedic maths right here without paying him a royalty. Think about it, our heritage, and we do not know about it. So I was very upset about this. We fought a case in the American court and thereafter, we won it for a Vedic Maths copyright. <laughs> so Vedic Maths has been traveling and is really getting popular across the world. In South Africa, there are over 9,000 schools which practice Vedic Maths. In the Middle East, Vedic maths has been practiced. You know, in UAE, Qatar, Oman, it's easier to practice Vedic maths there than in its own country of origin for all the wrong reasons. Even in Romania, the European country is practicing Vedic maths. So my wish right now, ladies and gentlemen, is that Vedic maths gets popular in its own country of origin. Everybody should be encouraged to take up Vedic maths and that it stands tall amongst the other gifts of India, like yoga, Ayurveda, chicken tikka, and maybe, just maybe, it gets popular in the whole world. Thank you.